Yes, you really smile. I think you're not from America too. Austria. The price is up more than two times. About now, it's the four times that before the COVID. I would say if you just come here, maybe bring some hiking shoes. I don't know, kind of like a little bit lost. So there's like the entry point coming into the old city. convenient over here they got a lot of uh, restaurants eateries like coffee shops a lot of places to uh, take your family to I think I like it in Chiang Mai it's kind of quiet relaxed you have uh, different activities you could do I think I like all places uh, that I've been to in Thailand for what it is Bangkok for its craziness the hustle and bustle uh, the malls there, nightlife, got the temples over there. So let's see, we're heading down to uh, one of the temples here. And it's not too far, it's about five minutes away. So. so I don't know if I can get to it yet. Uh, all the temples here, there's a lot. I mean, every corner has like some form of temple or some type of place that uh, is a temple, but it could be just like a smaller version of a temple. For example, right here, if you actually Google some of the temples near you when you're here, you'll find a list of temples, but then if you kind of walk, you'll just find a temple within between the temple you're trying to go to. So here's an example. So that's a temple there. Don't know exactly which temple this is. Let's go find out. Uh, Australia. Uh, Smiling. <laughs> no. uh, not normally the people from America no no smiling here. Oh America, huh? Yes, no. <laughs> America, England, Germany, no smiling here. Did you really smile? I think you're not from America too. Australia, I never never thought some people would think I'm like Muslim. Oh really? No, yeah, no, same, no, no, not the same, not the same, not the same. Can yeah. you say long Chiang Mai? How long? How long Chiang Mai? Uh six days. Yeah, yeah. Not, nah, I just want to check it out. Maybe I come back in the oh, future. Oh, okay. I came all the way from Bangkok. Oh, I don't like Bangkok. No, you don't like Bangkok? Yes, uh, busy. Too, too busy, yeah. The people different, different Chiang Mai. They are different. I notice here in Chiang Mai, people uh, least talk to you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bangkok, Chiang Mai, like, they, they need a friend. But in the Bangkok, they need money. <laughs> yeah. I don't like that. What's your name? Nice. My name is Riam. Riam. And you? Andrew. Andrew, nice yeah, to meet you. Me too. What do you do in Chiang Mai six day? What do you do here? I uh, just see some temples. Uh -huh. I wanted to go to the mountain. Temple on the mountain. Yeah. Also, very good. Evening, evening time. Very good. Very good. In the sunset, so beautiful. Yes. And maybe the zip line? Zip lining or not maybe exciting. Yeah. You should do, you should do. Yeah. About the Krabi, Samui, Kotao. Okay, maybe I go to uh, Koi Samui. Go Samui. Very yeah. Go Samui. Um, very clean in Phuket. Yeah. In Phuket, okay, you want to see a lot of business, something like that. Alright. Yeah, yeah. Chiang Mai, about, you heard about that Doi In Chanon National Park High Mountain? No, I never heard of it. Oh, <laughs> Doi In Chanon National Park, the high mountain of Thailand. Yeah. They have pagoda with the king and the queen. Royal Project Flower Garden, big waterfall, one recommend in Chiang Mai. But you can go full day, not one day. Ha, little bit far. It was so beautiful. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, so nice. Ramanine, Deer King Ramanine. Uh -huh, uh -huh, Ramanine. The yes. one that he passed away, uh -huh, right? Yes. 
But he wasn't born in Thailand. Yes. He was born in um, Massachusetts. Yeah. Yeah, that's where I'm really? from. Really? Yeah. Same hospital, too. Okay, same hospital, too. Same hospital, yeah. Really? It, oh. it, in that hospital, they have a big memorial for him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah. I never know. The first time I came to Thailand, really? it says, oh, from Massachusetts. I'm from oh, Massachusetts. Yes. <laughs> that's weird, so. Yes, okay. So, nice to meet you. Uh, nice to meet you, too. You, too. Yeah. Nice lady. So now she says there's a Buddha in there. Hate the sinner, not the sinner. Now there is our noble and real friend. We have a beautiful construct. And look at the size of this gong. It's pretty nice. So it's like a kind of like a small little temple to kind of start you off to the other ones. It's really nice. set up. pictures and articles from the day of his passing. As noted, he was uh, deemed as a great king and a great man. That's why you would uh, hear so many great stories about him and how much his people loved him so all right so we're gonna get on to our destination for our first temple that we found uh should be down this road byron this we have another one what's the name of this what some foul Let's make sure it's a uh, free admission. Not sure if this is a like that. Nah, just <laughs> I just come to see the temple. <laughs> is it a free temple or do you have to pay? Do you have to pay to see the temple? Underground, under underwater in Mekong River, 
maybe 5,000 years, we, we have to shave it. Maybe Naka for the protect the Buddhist. Oh, okay. Dragon, right? It's a different the dragon, but Dra it's different. like the dragon. Yeah. If you go to the, the Dojo Cave Temple on the mountain, you can see the big Naka. Why you don't go to Pai? Pai, you like Pai? Uh -huh. Maybe, I never, I heard about Pai. Beautiful island. Beautiful, beautiful village. Not down, down the island. Oh, it's an island, the village? Village. North east, north east from Chiang Mai. Oh, northeast. Mm -hmm. How long you've been doing the tours? This is my two years yeah. for the driver. Usually I have a family business for the wood carving. But when the COVID is coming, because the country about two years, we don't have the customer. I hope in this year, I will come back to open my shop again. But they have a problem from Russia and UK. They have a wall. And when the COVID is coming, the price for the transportation, they up about two times already. And now, prices are up more than two times. Now it's the four times that before the COVID. That's Mon Taxi? Yes. Service? Mon Taxi service. Oh, monkey school, huh? Uh-huh. Do a lot of people opt for the monkey school? <laughs> How about uh, a little? Let's go to monkey school. <laughs> you can see the monkey school, you can see the tiger. Both next to each other? Yes, on the way, they have many. The snake show or everything. Everything. And if you want to do for the elephant or more, you can do all yeah. together. Once you get all three of them. Far from here, the elephant sanctuary? A little bit. You can go uh, private, like with me, or you want to go join somebody. Alright, so change of plans. So I was actually walking to the temple and uh, some gentleman at one of the temples, he was, uh, I guess he was a private tour guide and he, uh, he told me where I was going and he asked me uh, about uh, this temple up in the mountain, which is one of the biggest temples, uh, probably the, one of the top attractions to go to. detour route all right so we're on a little detour um, the last temple I was at I actually met up with a private tour guide he was actually giving me some information about that last little temple I was looking for so we're actually up here near the mountain this one's called Wat Pat Lat and so this temple is kind of secluded with inside of the jungle that's why you can kind of hear. I think this is a cicada, maybe. But yeah, I guess how that things go. It's like you just have plans to do one thing and then it just turns into another. So yeah, we're here and uh, let's check this place out. It looks very interesting.
It's really amazing, like, years ago, even uh, times before, like, modern technology, like, <clears throat> people were able to uh, build certain things like this. very serene in these places. Su super calming. It's like, if you have any worries, it's like kind of gets delayed. Some deep well. ego. Look at this. Dead butterfly. Sent a butterfly off to butterfly heaven. I'm not sure where this leads to. I do see some type of stairs, but I'm not sure if it's uh, technically uh, accessible. Let's just try to go up there for a view. There is a trail, but I don't know. I'm not going to test it. It looks like it's uh, maybe not meant to be traveled, but it is. Just over there, you can see some people uh, meditating. So I'm not going to disturb them. I'll let them get their meditation on. All right, let's go down.
right, so we're heading downstream. I don't know how far down this goes. And uh, it seems like I reached the highest point up going up. So we're gonna see how far it goes down. jungly it's funny how the the trees dampen off the sound it's actually really 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 peaceful pretty much in the jungle now Sounds like a, like a building alarm, but it's actually bugs. It's crazy how they can produce that type of sound. All right, so I think if you go this way, which is more climbing, uh, you go to Anagami Temple, and then going up is the Mindfulness Hill. So I guess we'll take the road with less resistance because I don't think I'm fitted or suited for a climb. If you do come here, come uh, prepared. I actually am not prepared because I wasn't <laughs> planning to do uh, this one. But hey, we're just spontaneous with it, so let's see what's down there and if it goes too far. We'll turn back. I have a question, what is down there? Is it just more jungle-ish area? Yeah, you're actually way out. So I just came in from this way. Oh, okay, so that's... When you finish the truck. Oh, you can go up that way, right? Yeah, I'm going this way, yeah. Yeah, I just wanted to know. So yeah, up there is just... So there you go, you end up... It will go up to the thing? Yeah, finishing oh, okay, thank you. Yeah. Alright, so that lady kind of just gave me some information. She said that uh, she entered uh, from the beginning. So it seems like it's like a circle. One big circle of this little jungle. It's pretty cool. It gave you like a, a little bit of a taste of what a, a Thailand jungle more natural and uh, you know it's not designed for uh, you know, civilization but you get like a <laughs> I would say if you just come here maybe bring some hiking shoes and uh, extra water and be prepared if you're gonna want to get the full experience of this uh, jungle Hello. Always, but that usually is like my day where it's like <laughs> I, I plan something and it never really goes to uh, you know the terms that I want it and then it actually ends up working out so sometimes it's like you just gotta go with the flow just do it It'd be like me sometimes just like think all the time I was doing something and you like never really do it so it was cool to just get out and uh, see something today hopefully later I can go and uh, maybe 
explore some of those night markets. See where the day leads me. I'm not sure where this is actually leading me towards. I actually should have brought my drone with me, but I didn't actually uh, intend to come to this area. Alright, I see cars, I see civilization. Butterflies around here. All right. <laughs> so I guess I took a little detour, and uh, I don't know. I don't. <laughs> my driver is probably somewhere up near the entrance of the temple, and he's like, "Where did he go?" I wasn't expecting to come here, and now uh, then I took like a, I just went the way that the jungle took me and just kind of I don't know kind of like a little bit lost but I'm, I do see things like homes but I don't actually know exactly I feel like I'm going down the mountain that we kind of went up a little bit to get to this uh, jungle temple but maybe I have to call him and uh, tell him to meet me somewhere <laughs> actually just made it to the Shang Mai Zoo. Let's see where this path takes us. As of right now. My driver, I don't know where he is. He may be still up on <laughs> the Temple Hill. I don't know, it's too far though, and it's too rigid and rugged to get up there. Back on the foot. It's just too rocky. Uh, yeah, it's pretty unexpected because I wasn't really expecting the terrain to be that crazy so uh, maybe if I see him again maybe he gets the message and he just thinks like hey he's dead <laughs> 